Hello and welcome to my channel Scotland Mushroom Foraging and Fishing. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of mushrooms. One is called the blusher, or is it? And the other one is the false charcoal burner. So have a look and see and hopefully it broaden your knowledge. Right, first up is this lovely mushroom here, or fungus if you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I found it a couple of days ago, I put it in the fridge, and uh, on the first hand, I think it's the blusher. It's from Aminata family, but now we got to see if it actually is. Because the, the blusher has a deadly look-alike, the panther cap. Aminata pantherine. So, right, let's look at some of the ideas. Right, the cap looks, could look very similar like the panther cap. Got scales, brown cap. So, Let's look at some of the main differences, which is first, if you look underneath, is the bulb-like shape. On an older one, it's it's more pronounced. It's so like there is only a smooth trans transition from the stem into the bulb. It's a smooth transition. Uh, on the panther cap, it's actually the panther cap is growing out of a sack. So when I dug this one up, I couldn't find any remains from a from a sack or any, anything else. So that's one of the things. And apart from that, okay, we got the white gills. White could be creamy, and but. The main ID features is only a couple, which one of them I actually cut a piece off. Or sometimes when you see when snails or maggots eat the mushroom, it turns pink. When you bruise it or you cut it and it turns pink. You can, I don't know how clear you can see it. And the second feature is the skirt. It has like lines coming down from the stem onto the skirt or striations or whichever name that is. Let's call it wavy lines. The panther cap has not has no lines there. It's it's flat. So this definitely is a blusher. It's a very good edible. And but I won't be eating this because, as you can see, it's been eaten throughout because the maggots love this mushroom. So when you go out and pick one or are trying to pick some for the table, eh, I think maybe s 3 out of 10 if you're lucky. Uh, it's a good edible. I tried it once. Uh, it's, it's a good edible mushroom tasty uh, but as I say maggots love them so I, I don't really look out for them anymore uh, right it's not a mushroom for a beginner definitely not as the panther cap is a deadly mushroom and if you make a mistake there uh, you can hurt yourself very badly if not fatal. Yeah. So, okay. Any questions? Leave it in the comments. Uh, smell wise, okay, let's. Uh, I would say it's like a woody smell, woody, old wood type smell. So, okay. To the next ones. 
Right. These, oh, broke the skin off. I found again on my last spot where I found all the other charcoal burners. And that's another one of them. Coloration is like purplish, greenish. And the gilts, yeah, they're flexible, so they don't break. So that's definitely a charcoal burner. So, and it's of course a rustler or a brittle gill. Well, this one is not brittle. <laughs> so, okay, let's just check the stem just for you to identify a, a rustler. Rustler has a stem and it's quite a brittle stem. It's comparison to uh, marbling, uh, so you can't really break up big pieces and uh, like polystyrene, little marbles like polystyrene. So this is what I would compare it to. So you won't be able to break off big, big pieces or run down the whole things. They're usually white stem. They've got no skirt whatsoever. Uh, they could have a slight pinkish stem as well. So, but yeah, so. Okay. That's the charcoal burner. Very good edible. One of the best edible in the Russell family, in my opinion. There are a few others, but this one. There's another little one there. As you see, the coloration is a bit lighter there. Purple, maybe a little bit pinkish. The thing is, with the Russeller, even with the charcoal burner, it can have a different variation in colors. So uh, really color is not a giveaway of ID really. The majority have so like bluish, greenish, purpley colors. So let's have a look at this one here. Yeah. So coloration is, is, is could be similar. Yeah. You got the purple in there, I can see some green in there. So it could be charcoal burner at f first sight let's have a look underneath it there's a stem it's about the same no skirt like the gills are breaking so that's a giveaway it's not the charcoal burner see they're flaking flaking often you're just breaking away right down a few who could look like this or like like the charcoal burner so there are like one clue. Let's let's see if I can peel it. You can peel it up a little bit. And I can see a pinkish pinkish color under 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 the skin. So that's one giveaway. The other one, it has wavy lines or striations, what you call them, just on the end here. And that's another giveaway for one uh, for another mushroom, which is the false charcoal burner or the oil slick. Russella called oil, oil slick because it's maybe of the coloration, something like that. That's the only one I can point it to. There are two or three other ones which are similar, which you only can probably identify with a microscope or with some acid, acid tests. Yeah, with acid tests, uh, it changes or changes to different color, so but you can see it nicer tractations if I pronounce it right or it's like wavy you can see it through through there so is it still a good edible mushroom and another test is you just taste a little bit
Yeah, it's very mild. So yeah, it's, a, it's an edible mushroom. It's probably not as tasty as the charcoal burner. So yeah. I hope you found this helpful. If you go out mushroom picking, any questions, please leave it in the comments. Let's do another smell test. It has sort of like quite a, a sweetish smell to it. Let's smell this one. Yeah, the charcoal burn is more like a mush, bit more like a mushroom one, but there's a bit more. No, slightly different, but I can't really figure out what type of smell it is. So, it's been in the fridge for a while as well, so. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Yeah, if, if, if you go out looking for these, this is now the time when they start coming out here in Scotland. So, they're normally one of the er I mean sometimes you can see as early as March, April, but well that's the first one I found here. So yeah the weather's been a bit strange this year so but now we go have a lot of moisture, a lot of rain. So hopefully there's more to come. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. And as I said, if you got any questions please leave them in the comments more than happy or trying to answer answer them and thank you for watching and I'll see you later bye bye